Hey everybody, Glenn here. It is Friday and uh, got a great weekend coming up. Um, got to go out to dinner for the first time last night and it was exciting just to get out of the house. Uh, a lot of these restaurants are only at 25% capacity, but hey, 25% is better than nothing. So, um, quick tips from the couch today. A lot of beginners when they're learning chords are not playing in tempo and trying to learn some basic songs because they're more concerned about switching chords in time or in tempo. Tempo being the speed at which you play at. So what I like to do is there's a couple of little mental tricks that you can do for yourself that will get you to be able to switch chords. The first mental trick that I like to do is think about switching chords before you have to. So in other words, let's take a song like Brown Eyed Girl. Great song that I use a lot with students because it's a song that you can actually feel like you're playing a song for the first time uh, that everybody knows. So it's also one of the uh, most hated requested songs by bands. And my feeling is if the audience wants to hear it, you play it. The audience wants to hear Free Bird, you play it. Um, Mustang Sally, if the audience wants to get up and dance to it, play it. Don't make jokes, it's a hundred bucks to play Mustang Sally and 75 for Free Bird and Brown Eyed Girls $50. You're a musician, people like these songs. Margaritaville's the same thing. If it's making your audience happy, if it's making your audience stay and buy more food and beverages, and it makes the club owner happy, or the facility owner happy, then they're gonna hire you back. Plain and simple. You can argue with me on it, but it's the truth, okay? Every time we play Black Brown Eyed Girl, people love it in, in my, my entire career, and I will still play it. I'll still play Margaritaville. Why? People love Jimmy Buffett. I like Jimmy Buffett. He's a storyteller. Not a great guitar player, not a great singer, but he's Jimmy Buffett, and you can't beat that. So, I'll leave that alone. Um, Brown Eyed Girl. Basically, it's G, C. I like to use this fingering in D. Now it bounces back and forth. we go back to G. Rains when the days when the rains came. So if you're going to play that in tempo, basically it would be. So how do you play that and switch the chords in time? Well, this is my trick. I used it with a gentleman years ago that was having a lot of trouble. He had a chord vocabulary, but he couldn't switch to the next chord. So you're going one, two, three, and switch. 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 Now starting out, you're not going to do it at the tempo that the song is required to be played at. So what you want to do is just start off slow. Get a metronome app. I use Pro Metronome. It's free for basic 4-4 four, four, and 3-4 time signatures. It's, it's pretty basic. So one, two, three, and switch. You lift off. Then you can speed up. And the rhythm that I'm doing here is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll go slow with it. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Did you do that at home? I knew that you could. So what I'm saying is you want to be able to think about switching before you have to. You can also, you're also lifting up. The upbeat you can do that if you want that open strings you're not going to know you're not going to notice that so much but i like to keep it a little tighter some people teach it that way either way is good as long as you're getting that next chord if you know you're playing a g for four beats and you're playing the c for four beats the g again for four beats and then the d you got to be able to switch chords on the one of the next measure if you understand what i'm saying G, two and three and four and one, two and C and four and 
G, 2 and 3 and 4 and D, 2 and 3 and 4 and G. So that is uh, today's quick tip from the couch. Tips and tricks. Hope you all have a great weekend and we'll talk next week. Have a great one and God bless.